Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is a product called the Selfie. You know, like Selfie, but with a C instead of an S. Now, this name kinda makes me want to set fire to the entire marketing committee that came up with the name, and then feed their ashes to the executive who approved it. I hate the name, but a rose by any other name would still attract aphids. So, moving on from the super bad name, <laughs> and what we find is a pretty super awesome product. It's a lightweight, super compact, and very well-constructed miniature version of the stabilizers these glide gear people have been making for years now for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, both of which I have reviewed a few years back if you're curious about them. But this, selfie, with a C, model, has been shrunk down to accommodate those of us who also want some proper serious stabilization for our iPhone and GoPro shooting needs, or indeed Android phones of course, because of course iPhones and GoPros and such are serious production tools these days. Now, the selfie is really well built. Almost every part of it is metal, either CNC machined anodized aluminium or powder coated stainless steel to make sure it will survive a brutal life of road warrior shooting. In the kit, there's also a small ball head and a phone mounting clip that will accommodate most sized phones. It certainly does for my iPhone 6 Plus. And they even give you a little lens pouch style baggy thing to keep it protected in your gear bag. Now, there's nothing new about the basic design of the stabilizer. It's a tried and tested and proven system. And as I said, it's almost an exact replica of the larger glide gear stabilizer models people have been using for years now. And as such, the setup is pretty much the same. You adjust the length of the weighted pendulum to balance out properly. And this only has one weight. I mean, the big things have lots of different interchangeable weights to accommodate different kinds of gear with different lenses. But this one's designed for just a small range of small gear, GoPros, phones and such. So it only has a preset weight, you adjust the pendulum to balance it out properly, and they even give you a little cheat sheet with the kit to give you a reliable starting point for the markings on the unit based on some of the common models of phones and GoPros with or without its waterproof case. But you'll still need to do a bit of fiddling to get it just right. And then comes the adjustment of the balance with the ball head to make sure it sits level, doesn't flop over the side or tilt forward or back or whatnot. And this is a pretty fiddly process, as indeed it is on the big units too. And this is where most people new to these kind of stabilizers will get frustrated. But just take it slow, make very small adjustments, and you will find the balance, and you will develop a knack for quickly seeing it up. And if you are having trouble, Glide Gear do have a video tutorial to help you out too, if you can't quite nail it on your own. Now then, in use, again, it behaves very much like the big units. It takes a little care and practice to get consistent results and get it behaving like you want. But, as you can see for yourself here, it does indeed make quite a noticeable difference. It worked wonderfully well with the GoPro, which in my case I was using with the open frame mount and with the LCD backpack. The hinges and bearings are all super smooth and absolutely silent, which of course is a in gear like this. I did have a slight issue when using my iPhone 6 Plus, and that was simply a fact of the shape of it. The big flat surface of the iPhone tended to catch the breeze a bit, like a sail, which led to some slight tilting and unwanted panning. Indoors, of course, this is a non-issue, but outdoors it's something to be mindful of, and a light finger touch on the swing arm can keep it under control, though this is a skill that does need some practice. Of course, the iPhone 6 Plus has its own optical stabilization on board, which is one of the reasons I love it so much, so the difference isn't quite as dramatic as the GoPro footage is, but it still does make a noticeable difference, especially while walking. And if you are the walk and talk type, it's going to make that stuff much more watchable for your audience too. Much less jittery, it takes out all the wibbles and wobbles and shutters going down your arms and all that kind of stuff. Glide Gear lists the uh, selfie for $89, and I'd call that a pretty fair price, especially given the sturdy materials and excellent construction. So, yeah, absolutely worth a stab if you're a heavy iPhone and GoPro shooter and you'd like to inexpensively get some more stable footage to add an extra layer of professionalism and polish to your final product. Works a treat. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.